It is not as it was. The Jedi Council has changed. But perhaps that is for the best. We were wondering when you would arrive. This moment has taken some time to reach us, and I imagine you have many questions. We should have told him the truth. A Jedi deserves to know. Or perhaps you've come for revenge. I see you have failed to grasp the nature of the enemy we face. Where Jedi gather, Jedi die. But not just Jedi. All things touched by the Force. The last Jedi Conclave was on Qatar, a Miraluka colony. And all of Qatar was destroyed. All of the Jedi killed. Including Master Zar, Master Vandar. A Jedi doesn't care if he dies. Everyone does. But when we fight, when we sacrifice ourselves, it is for others, for the greater good. But our presence must not endanger others. And as long as we were visible targets, we were a threat to everything around us. There was a gathering of Jedi on the planet. When we realized that something was attacking us, we resolved to meet secretly to attempt to find this threat. Then, Katar was no more. When we felt Katar die, there is something we felt. Something we'd felt once before. An echo in the Force. We'd felt it before, when you stood before us. Whatever this threat, whatever this hunger is, it is something tied to you. Something you have experienced directly. This echo travels in the places where death has walked, where planets have died. Massacres fuel its power. The death of life fuels it. No, we do not believe so, but it is tied to you somehow. I felt it on Doxon. And it was in the ground at Dantooine. It echoed in the ruins on Korriban. And the wastelands of Telos. We've been trying for years without success. Whatever disturbance in the Force that would cause death on such a scale also clouds it from our sight. It is like a scream in the Force, and finding its source is difficult. It has cast many echoes. So we sought out places touched by the Force, by such events. We went to Dantooine, to Telos, to Doxon. And some of us just left. We thought the enemy might show themselves. They were Sith, that much was certain. But where they were striking from, we did not know. We cast you out of the Order because you followed Revan to war. There was no other reason. No, there was another. You had become different somehow, changed. The war had changed you. You were no longer a Jedi, but we could not tell you why. Some explanations mean nothing unless the one who suffers comes to the answer on their own. What had happened to you was punishment enough, and the Jedi do not kill their prisoners. And if you had stayed, you would have changed us. And that we could not allow. He still does not know. He has traveled all this time and never reached his destination. The answer has already been shown to you. Look at who you travel with. Have you noticed that when you act, others follow? Those that travel with you? They follow you without question, without hesitation. Against their instincts, and sometimes against their sense. You draw them to you, and your actions affect them strongly. It is because you are a leader, but that still fails to grasp the meaning of what I'm trying to tell you. It is not an easy thing to explain. Surely you are familiar with force bonds. It is the bond that develops between apprentice and master when one truly understands another. It is developed over time through understanding of each other. Such bonds can happen at times of great conflict, or when another Jedi dies close to another. It echoes. And if you do it so easily, and we do not know why. You make connections through the Force, and it resonates with those who travel with you. The resonance is even greater when they, too, are Force-sensitive. Your actions affect others more than you know. You draw others to you, especially those strong in the Force. When you suffer, their spirit echoes it. And when they are in pain, their pain becomes yours. This bond, it travels both ways. When you feel pain or strong emotion, it resonates within you. And that is why Malachor echoes within you still. 
We did not cut you off from the Force. You were merely deafened to it. Because of that last battle of the Mandalorian Wars. The screams of countless thousands, Jedi and Mandalorians, crushed by the planet's gravity, annihilated. Their lives still scream across the surface of that dead planet, and within you. You are sensitive to such things. You have a deep connection to life around you. And when that life dies, then you suffer. Their screams become your screams. And the screams of a thousand Jedi dying, the screams of an entire people dying, are more than anyone who can feel the Force can bear. For one such as you who feels life so strongly, who makes such connections so easily, the silence you heard within yourself after Malachor was not silence. It is death, so loud as to deafen you. You carry all those lives with you still. To hear the force over such pain, it is not possible. It was too much for any Jedi to endure, and it is a wonder that you did not die there when thousands perished, all those you had fought with and struggled with. You cut yourself off because you had to if you were to survive. You had hints of it in the war on Doxum. Malachor was simply the final blow. You were deafened. At last, you could hear. You were broken. You were made whole. You were blinded. And at last, you saw. When you returned to us, we saw what had happened. You carry all those deaths at Malachor within you. And it has left a hole, a hunger that cannot be filled. That emptiness we felt. In you, we saw a wound in the Force. In you, we saw the end of the Force. <laughs>